Family, before we get started, it's important to acknowledge the passing of Essex County freeholder Miss Levy Jones. She served the municipality of Irvington, New Jersey faithfully for over three decades. And on a personal note, she is someone I and my family knew for the entirety of my life. And though there are even videos of my frustration pointed in her direction up on this very channel, it doesn't negate the respect and appreciation for her as a human being and a public servant. Thanks for everything, Ms. Jones. You will be missed. All right, fam, let's talk some official elected official stuff. I'm Jay, the official elected official, and it's been a while, approximately two months, since the last episode of Misadventurers, where I spoke of the hilarious Menendez rally. He won his re-election, the blue party got into the house and hit the ground running from one newbie cursing Trump's name, impeachment filings, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's circus, the government shutdown, the endless investigations and leaked information just chucked at us from every direction, and that's only at the federal level. Here in Jersey, we have our own problems, and I want to talk about them. With almost a million more registered Dems than Republicans and the thoroughly blue wave that took place during the last election cycle, there is absolutely no doubt that this state's status as a blue team stronghold is coated in cement and frozen in carbonite. But that doesn't mean there isn't any inner turmoil, and that's what we're going to look at today. Until recently, the only local elections on the docket was for Assembly Rep's Cleopatra Tucker's seat. Ms. Jones' passing, though, may have put another one on the ballot. We'll cover all of that in Unbound. When it comes to 2020, no matter who the blue team runs in the presidential, Jersey will give them our points. So expect the video during the primaries, but that's about it. NJTV, though, produced a video featuring a potential 2020 kerfuffle for the state Democratic Party chair. Let's check it out. John Curry has been state Democratic chairman for five and a half years. Last month, Essex County Democratic Chairman Leroy Jones let it be known he might challenge Curry for that title next January. First and foremost, 80 years ago, both of these brothers would have been swinging from trees if they'd even thought about obtaining such levels of power. Yet here we are. God bless America. Am I right? County Democratic chairmen around the state immediately started taking sides. As of today, 11 county chairs have endorsed Jones, seven have endorsed Curry, and three are neutral. Brother Jones may as well run if that's anywhere close to accurate. As the official elected official, I went to a completely obligatory voting session as they reappointed Mr. Jones the county chair. The buckets of tears people sent his way could drown a fish. It really was a beautiful scene. I mean, it's always a beautiful scene within these party spaces, in their bubbles. It's so damn cozy. But I'm from the str The geography mirrors where the counties stand in regard to Governor Murphy and Senate President Sweeney, who have been feuding for a year. Jones is seen as allied with Sweeney, Curry as a partner of the governor. Full disclosure, not a big fan of Sweeney or Murphy, but at least Sweeney has acknowledged the state's need for reform, while Governor Murphy is pressing priorities that many Jerseyans don't share. But it's all blue team, so who the hell knows where any of these guys genuinely stand on anything? I will stand strong in supporting uh, Governor Murphy. Uh, I believe in his agenda. I know he's moving the state in the right direction. And if that's their only complaint about John Curry being chairman that I'm supportive of the governor, I'll take that and I'll go to state committee and I think the state committee will be with me because they know the work that I've done. Curry says under his leadership, the Democratic Party is stronger than it's ever been. With almost a million more registrations than the Republican Party, yeah, New Jersey has been bright blue for a long time now, and watching two men of color duke it out for a powerful position one of them has had for the better part of a decade is a testament to the progress that has been made over the last century. But I got a complaint. Irvington's poverty rate is 20%. Seriously, like what the fuck? Jones says he's not even an official candidate yet. 
I think, uh, you know, everybody enjoys the opportunity to, you know, to express ambitions. And that's all I've done is expressed an ambition. I, I have the utmost respect for John Curry. Uh, you know, I did yesterday, I do today, and I will tomorrow. Smooth as mineral oil. But I implore you to remember that we're watching political theater. No half-decent elected would ever attempt to come across as anything but humble and gracious. And Brother Jones freaking nailed it. I'm a dem. I was born and raised in Essex County. Lee Ray Jones went to school with my family. But yeah, there's one tiny problem. 23% poverty! Curry ran afoul of Sweeney and his ally, South Jersey power broker George Norcross, during last year's budget battle when Curry appeared to favor Governor Murphy's positions. Sweeney struck back last month by trying to weaken the state party chairs in the legislative redistricting process, an effort that failed. Now, putting up a candidate to challenge the state chairman looks like the latest sign that the party is divided. You know what? You can put any two people in a room, and I guarantee that there will be an eventual disagreement. So to pretend as if everything would and should be hunky-dory in any group as massive as the New Jersey Democratic Party is a ridiculous expectation. Let's be real. No matter who we're talking about, Murphy, Sweeney, Jones, or Curry, it's all blue team. And if they need to phalanx in order to stave off a bigger threat to their power, they'll rock with each other in a heartbeat. But what gives the Sweeney Jones tandem a smidge of credibility, at least in this commentator's opinion, is the willingness of Senate President Sweeney to at least acknowledge that reforms are needed and regular New Jerseyans are hurting. I mean, I don't think he's losing too much sleep over it, peep that jacked up redistricting hustle he had to cancel, but as covered at nauseum on this channel, Governor Murphy's coronation wasn't particularly earned as much as it was purchased and everyone got in line but that has gone haywire because due to that fact the governor doesn't have the machismo or the mandate or support to press anyone in either the assembly or the senate it'd be hilarious if new jersey didn't have all the problems that it does i don't know if the party is divided maybe some people in the party that don't have their way uh, but I don't see this party as being divided. You know, we just had 500 people that came to Washington to support myself, the governor, and Cory Booker, who hosted a, a reception for them all. That's not a divided party. I had people from all over the state coming up saying they are with me, and I feel very good at where we're going in the future. Did you hear the dismissiveness in Mr. Curry's posture? Some people aren't getting their way. Bruh, people are abandoning this state in droves, largely because of the heavy-handed taxing and virtual nanny state that New Jersey has become. Our flag says liberty and prosperity, but in the Garden State, you will find little of either. Jones is more willing to concede that the party is divided. Right now, is there a, a line drawn in the sand in the party? Clearly there is. Um, you know, my goal is to uh, to try to help erase that line to the sand. Mr. Jones, where's that line and exactly what is on either side? Which side has an issue with the sanctuary state status? Which side wants to slay the giant pension dragon? Which side wants to make New Jersey a place where it's actually a good decision to have a family here once again? New Jersey is too small to continue to ignore the pockets of poverty, namely the very urban and very loyal to the Democratic Party spaces within the state. So which side has something more than a program to offer them? Which side believes in the nuclear family? Which side respects the differences between men and women? Which side sees that the best thing for any child is to be raised by the two people that made them? Which side believes in a law and order? Which side believes in the presumption of innocence? Which side believes in free speech? Which side believes in paternal and men's rights? Which side sees the drug war as a plague on the communities and families as it's proven to be? Which side? The Leroy Jones challenge to John Curry is really just a reflection of the Murphy-Sweeney rivalry. With the chairman's election still a year away, this thing could break in one of several directions. I feel confident that I will be the state chair in 2020 as long as Governor Murphy wants me to be. And it's always been a policy, if you will, in our state party that the governor chooses his state chair.
I'm glad he's confident, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll see, uh, you know, how it all shakes out. That we will. Michael Aaron, NJTV News, West Orange. Thanks, Mr. Aaron and NJTV. All of this was used under fair use. So let's wrap this up. I don't think I asked for much. You know what? Okay, that's a lie. I'm asking people to care about something that they've never had to bother caring about before, namely the future of Irvington and the multiple municipalities around New Jersey that have been neglected and exploited for way too long. There's a part of me that knows this scenario of two black guys who have obtained such heights of power and aspire for even more should make me happy, should make me proud. But what's the point when there have been nothing but regression within our communities during their ascension? As to what could, would, or should happen in 2020, I won't speculate. It's over 300 days away, but I think it's Shakespearean that for all the progress black people have made individually, it seems to come at the expense of the same communities we supposedly represent. So, with that being said, thanks so much for putting up with me. Please, do all the internet stuff. Like, sub, share, speak. What do you think is going to be the most interesting race of 2020? Yes, to an extent, I'm writing off the presidential, but the local and state stuff is just so sexy. Hit me up in the comments, and until the next video, love. It's suicide! <laughs>